Hey y'all and welcome to another video from Carolina Picker. My name is Randy and I'm coming back at you again and thank you once again for tuning in and watching. This video may be a little shorter than normal but it's an important video and it's something that I want to go over with you all so that you don't make the same mistake that I have made. Okay and that mistake is is picking the wrong way to ship. I don't know any other way to say it than, than picking the wrong way to ship. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, is we do a bunch of clothes and stuff like that. And a lot of those things can be put in a 12 by nine by, by one inch. I call it a one inch. It's really flat, uh, bag. And, uh, it's a, it's a rip, uh, what do you call those things? A non rip bag, you know, it's tear proof. Uh, and you just stick them in it. That way you're not putting it in a box. It's, it costs you less for the, uh, for the material to ship it with because the bags are like, uh, I don't know, 14 cents a piece where a box is around 50, 60 cents a box, depending on the box size, sometimes up to a dollar. And uh, when you ship clothes out, usually they're less than one pound. So you can ship them first class or you can ship them priority mail, uh, either one of those. I made a mistake of putting a bunch of our clothes on priority mail. Boy, was that a terrible mistake. Be sure you're looking at how you ship it and make sure that it's first class if you're shipping something under one pound, okay? Because if you're shipping it priority mail, the price is gonna jump up. What happened was, was we sold two uh, different uh, styles of shirts. Um, and both of them, one was seven ounces and the other one was only five ounces, okay, the shirts. I charged 450 for one for shipping and 550 for the other. And I didn't have a lot of play for profit in those shirts. And what it ended up happening was I had to pay $7.90 to ship each shirt. $7.90. So that's well above what I charged for shipping. And it cut into my profit. I could have made an extra $8 profit, a little over $8 profit, had I had them marked correctly and had them marked for first class. So I'm gonna, let's go to the computer screen here real quick and I'm gonna show you how I look up because eBay now with their new system and you may still be on the old system, but I'm in the new system of eBay and it doesn't no longer give you uh, shipping rates or at least that I can find. Hey, if you know how to find those, tell me in the comments below because I can no longer find uh, uh, shipping expenses. Uh, it just it just leaves you out in the cold blind or I did find one section that tells you okay it'll buyers will pay between nine dollars and and a hundred dollars sometimes it says uh, I've had some things that I've shipped it'll say you'll pay between twelve dollars and 144 dollars I don't like that I want to be able to it used to have a section where you could put in okay Anchorage Alaska or Seattle Washington or or Los Angeles or something like that in their little pull down or you could put in a zip code and it would tell you exactly by based on your package size and the weight exactly how much it was going to cost for you to ship that item i can't find that anymore in the new system so what i've started doing is using pirate ship i've always had an account with pirate ship i used to ship a pirate ship before i just started utilizing ebay shipping because it's about the same price in fact it's usually exactly the same price and it just keeps it all inside of ebay so let's go to the computer screen here real quick and i'll show you how i look it up inside a pirate ship. Okay, so here we are inside of my pirate ship and uh, on the left hand side, if you click on rates, it'll bring you to this screen here where you can get quotes. What I like to do is just put in the furthest zip code from me, which if you think about it, uh, you'd have to look it up. So I always remember that TV show 90210. <laughs> That's out in California. So uh, I put that in there. And then I tell it what I'm what I'm going to be shipping. Okay, so padded envelope. So I'm going to say it's 12 by 9, and it's going to be 7 ounces. Now, this is going to show me a rate quote here. First class is 415. You can see what I paid for priority mail. I had to pay, well, it was $7.90, so I don't know why that's 968, but I paid $7.90 when I could have paid. Actually, on eBay, it was $3.90, I think, or something like that. So this is saying $4.15. But this will give you a good idea of, of what it is. Now, if, if I'm looking at a box, let's say I've got a box that's a 12 by 12 by 6, and it's going to be 2 pounds, 6 ounces. I'll just get a rate quote. I'm still on 90210 because I'm picking the further spot out. 
So now I can tell by using partial select ground, I'm going to pay somewhere around 1225. If I use UPS, I'm going to pay somewhere around 1265 and so on. So I can find my rates. So this is exactly how I find my rates now. Uh, is just by using pirate ship and clicking on rates. So, you know, uh, that's, that's the best way to do it that I've found. Now, if you can find a better way or if you know of a better way, please let me know in the comments. Please let everybody know in the comments. So I, I hope that helps you out. I uh, hope it helps you not to make the same mistake that I have made and, uh, and be able to save on your shipping. And once again, be able to find out exactly what it's going to cost you to ship an item. As long as you know the box size and the weight before you list the product, then you can set up your shipping. So listen, if you found this helpful, please click the like button and uh, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell as well. Uh, so that you know each and every time I upload videos. I try to upload them every Thursday night and Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm here to help you all, and I hope you got some informative information out of this and don't make the same mistake I've made. And listen, we appreciate you stopping by and watching once again, and I'll see you on the flip side.